There's still a lot to do, and yes, we still want to implement the government's program. We stand by that program because we are responsible for Austria and its people. And I cannot be the reason this does not happen. I do not want to provide the grounds for the destruction of this government, which, after all, was the goal of that illegal, grubby smear. So today, at 11 a.m., I met the Chancellor Sebastian Kurz. There, I offered him my resignation as Vice-Chancellor of Austria, and he accepted it. For the Austrian Vice-Chancellor, the revelations are devastating. For his Freedom Party, they are disastrous, not least because the European elections are looming. This secretly taped footage was sent to Spiegel magazine and Süddeutsche Zeitung newspaper. Experts believe it to be real. Only months before Austrian elections in 2017, Hans-Christian Strache and a fellow party member spent several hours in a house in Ibiza, talking to a woman posing as a Russian entrepreneur. She appears to be offering to buy stakes in Austria's biggest tabloid and to guarantee positive reporting on the Freedom Party. As soon as she takes over the Kronen newspaper, we need to be very frank. We'll have to sit down together and talk openly. The newspaper will have to go boom, boom, boom. Three or four people need to be pushed. Three or four others will have to be kicked to the curb. And then we'll bring in five new people that will coach. The recording also contains discussions on how to disguise a donation to the party. Stache is heard offering lucrative government contracts in return and punishing industrialist Hans-Peter Haselsteiner, the head of the Straba conglomerate. If we become part of the government, I promise you one thing, Haselsteiner won't get any more contracts. The identity of the Russian businesswoman is unclear, but she seems to have served as a decoy. Stache admits to requesting the meeting. In this discussion, in relation to all topics, I have always referred to the relevant legal provisions and the need to comply with the Austrian legal system. The scandal has shaken Austria's political system to its core. Chancellor Sebastian Kurz has now ruled out continuing his work with the Vice-Chancellor. Well, joining me now in the studio is Wolf Wiedmann-Schmidt. He's an investigative journalist at the magazine Der Spiegel, which published extracts of this covert video. So, Mr. Wiedmann-Schmidt, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Now, yes. We've just seen uh, the Vice Chancellor of Austria resign in the wake of this uh, damaging video being published. Is this the outcome that your publication expected by publishing it? Um, we didn't expect it, but we thought it might be a possibility because the video, it's, it's really damning. It's um, the, the things he talks about, the way he talks about things. So we didn't expect it, but we thought it might be a possibility, yeah. Well, the video seems very carefully planned and, and filmed in good quality and executed, but we do know that nowadays uh, there's a lot of technology that can doctor videos, that can be faked. Are you certain that the video is authentic? Yeah, we are absolutely certain. The thing is, we, we got a hold of the video and we, of course, knew it's um, uh, about all those questions, you know. We thought we have to make sure um, that it's not a fake, that it's not been doctored. So we asked um, two experts um, with their institutes to check out if there's any, um, any way you can tell that it's been manipulated. And they said, no, it's not manipulated. Um, we asked forensic experts to look if it's the same people, if it's the, the place, the location, if it's the location we think it is, and they checked and, and, and so on and so on. And so we were um, very sure that it's not been um, manipulated and it shows the real, real politicians. Uh, but then again, they didn't deny anything. And so um, we're absolutely sure that's, that, it's, that it's real and it's, it shows what they were saying there. Well, both your magazine, Der Spiegel, and the Süddeutsche Zeitung newspaper have been reluctant to name your source. Yeah. But what can you tell us about where you got your hands on this video, or at least how you obtained the video? Um, that's right. We can't talk about sources. We never do that, and um, understandably. Um, the, thing I, the thing I can tell is uh, that we heard about the existence of the video a while back, but uh, we actually it took till this month till we got a, a, a hold on it and in, in our hands, and then we, we checked it and we made sure that it's, it's not been manipulated. And um, yeah, we were 
we thought it's in the public interest to, to publish parts of it. And because uh, people need to see the information or the, the way Heinz, um, Christian Stacher talks about politics and about uh, media and so on and so on, it's in the public interest to see, um, I would say, his real face. So you mentioned that you've actually had this video already for about a month, is that no, correct? No, 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 we, we got it this month. You received it this month. Okay, so you've had it for a while, let's say, and yet the timing of its publication is also quite significant. We're seeing European elections just a week from now. Um, there's this far-right rally taking place mm. today in Milan. Was this intentional to release it now? We didn't have uh, the intention to release it just right now, but we got, like I said, we got it um, uh, this month, so I don't know, a couple of weeks weeks ago, and we just needed to take the time to really check that it's authentic, that it's real, and it's uh, almost seven hours long. It's, sh it's, sh it's shot from different angles in different rooms, um, and we we had to we had to, to transcribe and translate parts of it. Parts of it is Russian. Um, so it, w it wasn't that easy to say, okay, let's just publish it the next day. We had to ask those um, experts from those institutes, uh, Fraunhofer Institute was involved, for example, um, and we asked them to, uh, to, to, to look at that real thoroughly. So that took some time and, and now we, we, we said, yeah, we have to publish it. And, you know, people would have asked us if we would have sat on it till after the election, why didn't you publish before the election? So it's a, it's a tough call. All right, Wolf Wiedemann-Schmidt, an investigative journalist at the magazine Spiegel, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome, thank you.